it's getting real dark out here, guys. Real dark at night in the desert. And you know what else? Getting really tired of buying batteries for these outdoor lights. Let me show you what I'm gonna do about it. Bubba box truck Corey. So in my box truck RV conversion, I don't have a ton of battery storage for nighttime electrical use. So I've got this portable LED light strip, the Minicat 5 meter, 5M, and it comes with a pretty good sized battery pack. And uh, well, let me show you what I mean when I say this is going to solve multiple problems all in one for me. The more things this can do, the better. Waterproof, fire resistant, UV resistant, three year warranty. So I'm hoping this is going to be the ticket. Now, of course, it is the holiday season. So there's a 10% discount code in the description if you would like to grab one of these yourself. It's, uh, it's obvious what the first use is going to be. Outdoor lighting. There are no street lights out here in Slab City. So if we want light at night, we got to create our own. It's, uh, it's a dark, dark place. And this product can be daisy chained. So if I want, I can hook up a few and pretty much get as much light as I want. Now the big advantage to this light strip is that it's durable, it's strong, it's not going to break, water's not going to hurt it, the weather, UV, none of that. Like, here, let me show you. Like, a little bit of rain, like, you could always drop it in the bucket during your shower and, you know, like, you don't want your light strip to be ruined just from a little water and that's not going to happen here. It's perfectly happy here. Let's swoosh it around. They're waterproof, guys. This thick silicone extrusion, it's not, it's not a problem in water. And, uh, well, let's not stop there, guys. After you've got them all wet in your five-gallon bucket, you might want to, uh, you might want to dry them off by the fire. And, uh, well, you know... These things are good for extremes. Normal use, like minus 60 to 300 degrees Celsius. Like you're gonna use these way up north in the cold, down south in the heat. UV is not gonna affect them. No, no, no temperature that you can come up with. Like I'm literally dangling this in the fire. They're still on, they're still working. And that's, you know, obviously pretty extreme. But I'm liking the durability. If you're going to use it outdoors, you're going to use it in the desert, you're going to use it up north, it's got to last. It can't break. So that's, uh, that's the Helion Cat 5 light strip, guys. You know, it, it, it's a bit of an investment. You're going to pay more for the durability. But if you're not replacing it, you know, every month, every three months, then that's good too. You just put this outside and you leave it. So I think, you know, you got to consider the investment. For you, it might be a wise way to go. I sure am loving it. Now, in my solar system I'm working on, I have only got two batteries. And, you know, if I have a bunch of cloudy days, that can be a problem. And that's where Solution 2 comes in with the Helion system. It's a pretty decent sized battery pack. And, uh,. You know, this is going to keep me watching YouTube and Netflix and, you know, running my phone for quite a while. You can always use a backup lithium battery pack, can't you? Like, these guys are good, but you can only expect so much out of two golf cart batteries. So, the Helium battery backpack is, uh, you know, it's, it's going to work out well. Like, uh, who wouldn't want just a little bit of extra battery just in case for when the sun doesn't shine? You know, I have it as number three, but probably it should be number one. Because when you're out camping, it's always good to be able to help out a friend. Or you have, you know, a city type come to visit you. And, well, let me show you. I've got friend here. 
with a brand new, new to them anyway, high top van. It's looking awesome, but it's only been two weeks and there's no solar yet. And when you have friends camped with you, if you can give them the gift of power and light, well, how awesome is that? So we've got the, the helium battery pack just sitting right here, right on the bed. And, you know, every day or two as needed, I just uh, charge that up, bring it back. And the light strip is just strung along. And it's not, you know, fulfilling its full off-grid purpose in a way, you know, pretty light duty use. But sure serves my purpose the gift of light this could just be you know if your grandson comes over and pitches a tent in your backyard you know he still wants to plug in his phone he still wants to you know play video games so this could be the solution even in a house right like this gives you the freedom of light and power both in one easy step it's working out great here and the uh the dimmer button it's pretty cool you just you know hold your finger on it and it just like ratchets down almost to nothing you know and I found uh, over six hours with it about you know just normal light uh, by that you know I turned it off I didn't want any more light and then I used it to stream so I think you know it could be a good solution for many people in this situation. Maybe you're camping for a weekend, maybe you're a full-timer, but just being able to offer a friend, a neighbor, not only a, a light, not only a battery pack, but a solution that's gonna work for both. The other end of the light strip, we'll just take a stroll in here. It's just hanging here, out of the way wherever, and it's durable. Right, thick silicone. It's not it's not gonna get damaged on this wheelchair lift that's still here. It's not gonna tear, it's not gonna get wet and break. So it's got two USB ports, guys, the type C and the regular one to power your, you know, phone or tablet. That's nice, you know. I like seeing the type C because this phone I need, you know, I need the Type-C for it, and it's already here. I don't need an adapter. Sweet. Now, you got some pretty interesting specs. You know, it's going to work in most extremes. I don't think I've seen any lights that are better. And, uh, you know, it charges off this 120 plug. Yeah, I, I'd like to see maybe a USB charger or some way that, you know, maybe a cigarette lighter some way I could charge it off my solar more easily, but you know, you'd have to buy that cable separately. There is uh, a couple other ways that you can power the lights if you don't want to use the battery pack. It's got this cigarette lighter adapter and uh, this little 12 volt if uh, your system accommodates it. So you, you do have a couple options. I wish they could make both USB, uh, you know, the, the regular USB and the Type-C both work at the same time. That, that would be nice too, because right now it only supports one. But, you know, you're going to charge your tablet, your cell phone, your camera, use it out in the wilderness for hours, and you don't need to worry about Mother Nature destroying it on you. This little carry bag makes it easy to keep, keep track of it. And, uh, well, we're going to do a long-term review, see how it holds up over the course of time. Now, I told you. I'd get back to this, but the number one reason, outdoor lighting. Come with me. Camp fire dancing under the lights, guys. That's what it's all about.